Welcome to the ST NFC RFID product overview and discussion of detailed use cases. In the RFID technologies as a whole, ST offers solutions in the center band labeled as HF. This is where NFC operates at 13.56 MHz, and ST offers solutions of both reader and tag ICs. In the far right band labeled UHF, which operates at 860 megahertz to 960 megahertz, ST offers solutions of reader ICs and has partners for tags. When reviewing solutions today of the NFC portfolio, we will be discussing two basic protocols supported in our NFC tag solutions. The first is ISO 14443, which supports NFC forum type two and type four. And the second is ISO 15693, which supports NFC Forum Type 5. From a high level, a good way to differentiate these two protocols is to remember a trade-off between data rate and range. The ISO 14443 protocol supports a data rate of 106 kilobits per second where the ISO 15693 protocol supports a data rate of 26 kilobits per second. A typical application with a phone could achieve up to five centimeters with the ISO 14443. And with similar design constraints with RF power out and antenna size in the design, the same solution could with ISO 15693 may achieve up to seven centimeters of distance. Before getting into the details of the ST product offering, we will go through a few key use cases for NFC. Through the use of NDEF messages, which is short for NFC data exchange format, automatic actions can be taken with a simple swipe of your phone. A good example of this would be to tap a tag which takes you directly to a web page of a product or offering. Another use of an NDEF message would be to take a user directly to download an app. Perhaps a product is shipped and an app to support it is located in the Google Play Store. With a simple tap of the phone, the user would be taken directly to the correct app to download to support the product. Another action that could be streamlined greatly is the completion of an e-warranty card and a customer registration. With a simple tap, an email could be pre-populated with the correct serial number and model of a product to be registered. No more turning over your product and reading a tag to find the correct model number and serial number. Another useful example of a predefined NDEF message is for the exchange of contact information. With a simple tap of a phone to an NFC-enabled business card, one could store another's contact information automatically into their phone. Another useful example of having NFC embedded into your product is to tap in Identify. For example, a bottle of wine could have an NFC tag on it that takes you to a review of the wine, or perhaps to a web store to order another case. Also, an NFC-enabled tag with a digital signature could detect if this product is counterfeit or it has been tampered with. One of the most useful use cases of NFC in a product is achieved by making use of energy harvesting directly from the NFC RF field. What does this mean? That means that you can directly read and write to the EE prom of an NFC tag IC without supplying power to your unit. Furthermore, by making use of the V out pin on an NFC tag, you could supply power to a small micro and sensors in an IoT node as pictured in the center of this slide. One place you've more than likely already used NFC in your life is through contactless electronic ticketing. NFC tags are in wide use for mass transit applications as in subways and buses. Another popular use of NFC is for asset tracking. 
A tag could be added to a product and you could track its whereabouts in a warehouse. It's important to note that it's not just for reading, but you could write to the tag to update the information of perhaps the date when this product was stored. An NFC tag in a product can also be used to automate the process of wireless pairing. This could be used equally as well for Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. For instance, you could take your smartphone, tap to a Bluetooth headphone that you want to listen to, and automatically be paired. NFC in a product could be used to automate and eliminate errors when installing and commissioning different nodes or meters, for instance. A field technician simply with an app on their phone or tablet could tap a meter to be installed and correctly program in the relevant network ID and node ID. NFC is designed to complement many wireless protocols. Another popular use for NFC is for automatic parameter setting. This could eliminate the use of dip switches, for instance. Not only could you reprogram your double EEPROM in your system, but you could do that while it's in the box or in its final form factor. It's important to remember through energy harvesting that you can power up the unit through the NFC tag and access the double EEPROM to update new settings. NFC is being used today to make payments fast, easy, and secure. Not only do credit cards enable NFC payments, but through popular applications such as Apple Pay and Android Pay, a consumer could go into a store with just their cell phone and make a payment. A popular emerging use of NFC is in the automotive world. An NFC-enabled card or cell phone could be used to securely access the vehicle. Also, once inside the vehicle, your cell phone could be set in the center console to automatically pair the Bluetooth to the entertainment system. The cell phone could also be used to identify the driver for personalization of settings such as power seats or power mirrors. NFC is being designed into many systems for secure access. Many hotel chains have replaced their previously unreliable MagStripe systems with an NFC reader in their door lock. This also allows for many chains to not require a guest to stop by the hotel desk to receive the key to their room. The NFC-enabled key can simply be sent to their smartphone and they can go directly to their room. Now that you've learned about many of the exciting use cases for NFC, let's go through the ST products that enable your design to support these markets. Before discussing the specific products offered by ST, let's talk about the three categories that they all fit into. The first is tags. A tag is an NFC tag with an antenna that does not have an I2C interface. Although an NFC-enabled tag may have a general purpose output that can be used for wake up in a system, or also there may be a temper detect feature. A dynamic tag refers to an NFC tag that also offers an I2C interface to a microcontroller. The microcontroller can update the EE prom as well as it being updated through the NFC field. In addition, a dynamic tag will often have a voltage output pin that through energy harvesting can harvest a voltage that can be used to power up a micro or other small sensors in an IoT node. A reader is used for accessing a tag. An example of a reader could be a fully designed OEM product or simply your cell phone. ST offers a broad range of solutions for your NFC and UHF needs. On the left of this slide, you can see our tags. We have various families of tags from the ST25TA to the ST25TV. The TA family supports ISO 14443 Type 4 protocol, where the TV family supports ISO 15693. There are various sizes of double EEPROM options from 512 bits up to 64K bits. Other features differentiate the tag, such as 
different passwords, perhaps a tamper detect or a general purpose output line used for wake up in a system. The blue columns detail the various dynamic tag features offered by ST. Remember a dynamic tag includes an I squared C interface to a micro. Again, these tags support various memory sizes and also support both type 4 and type 5 protocols. The HF reader columns detail ST's full solution of NFC readers. We have very low cost yet reliable NFC readers to the most robust and advanced NFC readers on the market with features such as automatic antenna tuning and various low power wake up modes and concluding capacitive and inductive. The far right of the chart shows the ST25RU 3993 reader I see. The 3993 reader I see is one of the most integrated and powerful UHF readers on the market today. Now we'll get into some of the specific product offerings of the ST25T NFC TAG product family. ST offers a variety of solutions in its NFC RFID TAG product family. The far left of this chart details the ST25 TB series. The TB series is Type B compliant, enabling contactless ticketing for mass transit and transport applications. The second and third column details the ST25 TA family. The second column details the 512-bit and 2K-bit offerings, which also offer a GPO field detect pin. The third column details the ST25TA 16K-bit and 64K-bit family members. This family also supports Type 4 protocol and offers a lower RF tuning capacitive value of 25 picofarads. The far two right columns on the chart detail the ST25 TV series. These are ISO 15693 NFC Forum Type 5 certified tags that are well suited for product identification, anti-counterfeiting, gaming applications, and many more. Now we'll specifically go through some of the one-pagers of the product detail to highlight some of the unique features in each case. The ST25TV low density NFC tags come in both a 512 bit and a 2K bit offering. Both memory options offer a tamper detect bin used for open and short detection. Also, they offer cloning protection with digital signature in association with cloud management. The ST25TV also comes in a 64K bit option. The 64K bit option has a 64 bit password and also offers a larger memory option for 40 years data retention for 1 million erase write cycles. The ST25TA low density tag comes in a 512K and 2K bit offering and supports ISO 14443A Type A and NFC Type 4 communication. This tag supports the NDEF memory format, has a 128-bit password, a 20-bit counter, and a 50 picofarad internal RF tuning capacitor, which allows for smaller antenna designs. The ST25TA 2K tag also comes with the GPO option. The GPO option is a digital output feature for MCU wake up upon field detection of an NFC field. The ST25TA family also comes in a larger high density version, which supports both 16K and 64K bit options. These tags support a 128 bit password. The final offering of the ST25 RFID tags is the ST25TB family. This family was designed specifically to support mass transit and transport applications, also event ticketing, asset tracking, brand protection, and identification. This includes a 64-bit unique ID 
and a two 32-bit counters that can be used for these techniques. Now let's take a look at the ST25D dynamic tag solutions offered by ST. The first member of the dynamic tag family is the M24SR family. It comes in various memory sizes including 2K bits, 4K bits, 16 and 64K bits. All family members include a 128-bit password and support ISSO 14443 protocol, which supports data rates up to 106 kilobits per second. For a dynamic solution to support ISO 15693 protocol, we recommend the ST25DV family. The ST25DV family comes in 4K, 16K, and 64K bit options. This family includes a 64-bit password, also supports a 1 MHz I2C bus, and has temperature ranges up to 125 degrees Celsius. The ST25DV family has also been designed with a fast data transfer mode which includes a 256-byte buffer that allows a mode of 53 kilobits per second, where the RF can directly bypass the E squared on the tag to go directly to the microprocessor for MCU firmware upgrades and other fast data exchange needs. Now let's take a look at the ST offerings for NFC readers that can be used to read and write to NFC tags. The first offering in the NFC Reader family is the CR95HF. The CR95HF offers 230 milliwatts output and supports ISO 14443, 15693, and Felica protocols. The next offering is the ST95HF. The ST95HF is similar to the CR95HF where it has 230 milliwatts of output, but also supports a card emulation mode. This card emulation mode can be used for dynamic data exchange between an NFC phone and an NFC device. The next NFC reader is one of the most highly advanced readers on the market today is the ST25R3911B, which supports power output up to 1.4 watts, is fully NFC forum compliant reader device with peer-to-peer -peer operation, also includes advanced features such as automatic antenna tuning and low power operation in standby mode, achieved through capacitive and inductive wake-up techniques. Another offering is the ST25R3912 and 13 NFC readers. The 3912 comes in a very tiny 3 by 2.8 wafer level chip scale package that still offers an astounding 1 watt of power output. The 3913 also has 1 watt of power output and is offered in a QFN32 package that offers the automatic antenna tuning feature. ST also offers industry-leading NFC readers for the automotive market. The ST25R3914 and 15 offerings are well suited for the harsh environments encountered in automotive design. Both devices are automotive AEC Q100 Grade 1 certified and offer 1 watt output powered at 5 volts. In addition, the 3914 offers the automatic antenna tuning feature. In summary, ST offers a wide range of NFC readers for all your solutions and needs, all the way from the CR95 and ST95HF family up to the ST25R39 and 14 and 15 family that supports automotive needs. Now we will go over the solutions ST has for the UHF reader market. The first UHF reader is the ST25RU3980. 
The 3980 is designed specifically for fast-moving consumer goods. It allows you to have one tag discovery every 500 milliseconds. There is no anti-collision built into this IC, but is ideal for low-cost, low-power consumption readers. The next offering in UHF readers is the ST25RU3993. The 3993 is ideal for mobile applications where you need to prolong battery life and also work in a dense reader environment. It offers zero dBm of power output while maintaining a low power consumption of 65 milliamps. Now we'll highlight some of the evaluation boards and enablement that ST has put in place to help you quickly get to market. ST has developed many solutions and programs to help you with fast and easy prototyping. An example of this is the online antenna e-design and matching tools. This will allow you to quickly match your design to get optimum NFC performance and range in your system. ST has developed fully functional smartphone apps that can be used for testing in your development cycle. ST currently has both Android and iOS apps. Currently the Android app supports reads and writes and at the time of this recording the iOS app only supports reads. The iOS app for smartphones requires iOS 11 and above to be loaded and supports iPhones 7 and above. ST knows it's important to help you design your product robustly and enable fast time to market. With this in mind we have designed a wide range of tools including STM32 Nucleo boards, STM32 based discovery kits, the online antenna e-design tool. We share with you schematics, bombs, and gerbers of these tools to help you get to market quickly. We've also released the ST25 SDK that helps you quickly develop embedded applications along with your mobile apps for your smartphones. NFC is fully supported in the STM32 Cube software ecosystems. We have various PC software tools and SDKs and source codes to GUIs to help you get to market quickly. Thank you for your time and I hope this has given you a good understanding of ST solutions for NFC and RFID tags and readers. Also, I hope it gives you a good idea of some use cases where you can design these solutions into your products today. Thanks again for your time and thanks for working with ST.